a few on a try, so I'm like, I Oh, nice! <laughs> nice! My first fish on the bed 2023 here on Lake St. Clair. Looks like a pretty good one. We had to work. It's not him. bad. Yeah, we had to work. Yeah, this him. one's actively got a female there. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grove here, the Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure to go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 25,000 subscribers. I would really appreciate it. Me and John Miniachi, or Mini, we're actually out here today on the famous smallmouth fishery, Lake St. Clair. This place is smallmouth heaven. We're just getting out here. It's around like 7, 7.30 right now. And you think we're going to catch them today? I certainly hope so. We better do better than we did last yeah, time. Yeah, for real. We came out here, what, what was it, last week or something? Yeah, we caught ago. maybe like 10 or 15 or something. Yeah, I don't brutal, know. Brutal. Yeah, it was a brutal bite, but we are back out here. The smallmouth are starting to move into the shallows. They're roaming around trying to find out or figure out where they're going to bed. So hopefully here soon, they're going to be locked on their beds. And that, that is always fun, catching them off of beds. But maybe even today, we will find some on beds. Do you think so? Yeah, I think we're going to find a few of them on beds it has to be a move the water temperature is right we're at off the full moon but the full moon helps but it doesn't determine it the water temperature yeah. length of day you know when they get the best combination of all those factors is when they'll start yeah but hopefully we get on a couple big ones today guys we're gonna start casting and um hopefully land some giants today I have a more. Pretty relaxed about it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, they're not really drilling them. So a lot of times, too, that could be that means that the minerals aren't really hot. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the minerals aren't really hot. There you go. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh! You ever seen that? Heard yeah, that holy Luke Bryan crap. thing? <laughs> hey, you know when you're a man, you set the yeah, hook yeah, yeah. That's a man that <laughs> looks at right there. That was. <laughs> that fish flew out of the water four feet. <laughs> you're gonna lay off the gym yeah, there, yeah. big man. Oh, that's hilarious. There's another one over there too. I'm gonna have to get something. Holy like crap, through. guys. I don't know if you've seen that, but that <laughs> largemouth drilled my top water. I yanked it and he came flying out of the water. That was funny. Yeah, it was. It was Holy like, crap. You see that a lot when the guys are flipping. Yeah, yeah. But not at the end of a cast. Yeah, you got braid like, on there, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like 50 yards out or something. <laughs> <laughs> he went from 50 to 40 on the hook set. He yeah, yeah. 10 yards in the air. Yeah, holy crap. Oh, oh. Well, I didn't know if he had yeah. it or not. Oh, you bastard. Little, it's a large mouth. Little man. large mouth. That's hilarious. That was a large mouth too. We don't even have our species of choice yet. He's got a bluegill and I got a large mouth. I know. What's next? A pike? Hey, easy now. I don't yeah. want to lose my jerk bait. Yeah. That's funny. I sent him to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> he certainly rocked his world. Water skied him right back to the boat. <laughs> So guys, right now we are just riding around on the trolling motor. We found a bunch of beds right now and there was smallmouth bass swimming all over the place. Like I said, it's smallmouth heaven in here right now, but I'm starting off with my favorite bait, my favorite drop shot out here on Lake St. Clair, the Guggen Baits Dragon Drop, the Green Pumpkin Pearl. And I just have it nose hooked right there, but many has his Texas rigged. But right now, um, I think I got like a, I don't know, maybe a, a foot or maybe even more of a liter to my weight. Mini has his pretty short, but I'm gonna try this out, see what happens. There's smallmouth all over the place, so hopefully we can get a couple off some beds today, guys. It would be a blast. Yeah. You know, you see the fish in between the yeah. beds. They're up just roaming around, trying to figure out what I call putting their tent stakes down. Yeah. You see one? Yeah, there's one roaming around. Yeah. He doesn't know where he wants to go. 
probably wants to eat. Yeah, they get funky when they're just now getting out of them. That's one, isn't it? Yeah. See his head? He's looking right at us. Yeah. Literally, get it in the bed and let it sit there. And I'll have a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. There's 10 of them or more in there. I forget we, what, uh, how much. We used to get on a cookie pattern. Yeah. Do the same thing, have a cookie. Really? There's one there, too. Oh, uh, yeah. That's sweet. Because I let the cat out of the bag. People are saying, how'd you catch them fish? I said, that's drop shot. Well, that's illegal. Said, there you go. Fish. Oh! I watched him eat it. That's the best. Yeah, it is. He just sucked it in. Didn't feel a thing either, did you? No. With braid, and you still don't feel it. People don't believe that. That's a party going on over yeah, there. Yeah, dang. Bass, gar plate. He's gonna eat again. I threw at this thing a few times and they're real skittish right now. So I had to dead stick the drop shot to get it to eat. I literally did not move it, I was not paying attention to it. The line just took off. I did not feel the bite. They're just getting up on the beds. Fish on. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Fish on. Typical St. Clair mail. Not a hook bark in them. So I'm the first one that got to pierce them this year. There'll be many more that do. We're releasing, he's gonna swim right back to the back. Look at all the minnows jump. Yeah, see white that? crop. Quite a few beds here. We'll yeah, there is. Like a day, like 10% of them have fish. Yeah. Or if you want to try, try like that. He's still interested in getting that female in there. Yeah. He's your pistol. He's doing a mouth. Just leave it there. Alright. Oh, okay. The hardest thing for fishermen to do is not work today. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. My first fish on the bed 2023 here on Lake St. Clair. Looks like a pretty good one. We had to work. It's not him. bad. Yeah, we had to work. Yeah, it, this one's actively got a female there. She's still there, so she's getting released. Oh, that's cool. Not a bad fish. Again, typical Lake St. Clair male. You want me to catch a female? Sure. Maybe we get a double fish. Yeah, it'd be a good one. Should they usually don't eat. They will. Man, that's sweet. Well, guys, like I said, there is my first bedding fish on Lake St. Clair here in 2023. They're just starting to move up. Some of them are locked on beds right now, but there's a lot of fish in this area right now that we're fishing, but he actually just hit that Guggen Bates drop shot. I love throwing that drop shot here on St. Clair. It always catches a ton of fish, but I'm gonna put this one back, hopefully get on a couple more today. Like you're... Fish on! I looked at that fish over there, and he ran off. Yeah, he ran off this one's got some color to it. Yeah, dang. Dang. That's a cool one. I'm gonna get my camera. You get other fish swimming in the background. Here we go. That's like a good one. I like when they're dark, dark like that. Oh man. He ate it upside down. Fish must have been swimming upside down. Striking yeah. dream shot. KVD sexy shag color. Another typical Lake St. Clair male. That's the brood stock. 
of this lake right there. What's a secret? Secret? Don't move your bay. Throw it in there. Let the fish tell you when he's there. Pretty easy. Yeah. Man. Springtime. I threw a short, short leader. Summertime, I'm 24, 18, 24 inches. Springtime, you could go even shorter than this. But the reason why I like it, because you can keep the weight outside the bed and still get the bait inside of it. But you see how big my hook is. Most people don't use a hook that big. Most people just nose hook their stuff right here. Well, on Lake St. Clair, there's plenty of weed growth. And back here with these reeds that are in the water, they can wrap you around it and you can get hung up pretty easy. So I Texas rig my drop shots. Just like you would go in the front, bring the hook all the way through, lay it across the bait, figure out where it's got to come out, make it come out, right in the middle, skin hook it, and now I'm weedless. Not only that, normal people, their hook is over here. My hook is here. It's further into the fish's mouth. Better chance for hookups. Now there's like six or seven beds out in front of us. There's got to be a couple of them that got it. You left that in there the whole time? Yeah, <laughs> while we were filming. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky that Rod didn't take them. Yeah, yeah. That would have been great, right? Yeah, it would have. Talking about it. Right there. Oh, yeah. That one actually looks like a rock bat. Yeah, it does. Oh, nice. You looked away. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't even watching. Don't pay attention. It was the only time fish on. I'll tell you that. It's a binker. Yeah, it is. Dang. This is super fun, guys. It's always a blast being able to watch those smallmouth bass eat your lure. But I was actually looking away when that one ate. I just felt my rod. Nice. On that Guggen Baits drop trap. That one's a little guy, but they're still fun to catch. I don't care how big they are. I'd like to catch a big one though. We will today. There's a lot of big fish in this lake. <laughs> yeah, there's a few of them. Yeah. There's smallmouth bass swimming everywhere right now. Yeah, some are on beds, yeah. some are roaming between them, as you can see some of the males fighting off the other yeah, males. Yeah. See, this is my house. Eddie, yeah. this is my house. Yeah. <laughs> They're Gus, it's Eddie, it's not Gus, it's Eddie. not Eddie, it's Gus. <laughs> so guys, we've been catching them on the drop shot, but I figured I would try out this Guggen Dube Tube. I haven't caught anything on it before, but it looks super good. I'm gonna try it out, just picked up the tube. And this is actually a three and a half inch tube. So I'm gonna try it out. This one is called the Gobi. And if you wanna order any of these Guggen baits, use code extreme at checkout. I would really appreciate the support. But I'm gonna try this out, see if I have any luck on it with these smallmouth that are betting. You remember this day when someone told you, oh, smallmouth, catching smallmouth out the beds is easy. Yeah, for real. It is sometimes when they're protecting the brood. Right. She's she swimming away and he's not there. She's swimming away and he's not there. Nice. I only worked him for probably 20 minutes almost, it felt like. Did I pull the pole? Yeah, yeah. I just picked off the Guggen Dube Tube. This is my first fish ever on the Guggen Baits Dube Tube. Pretty cool. Pretty good one, too. Yeah.
Did you say it? I don't remember. I don't think you did. Fish on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's quite obvious. Dang. That's a good one. Dang. Obvious. I think that's my biggest of the day so far. Yep. That's Still sweet. small males. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen some bigger females. Yeah. Here, Check that one out, guys. Really beautiful smallmouth bass. Still a male. But he drilled that Guggen tube tube. Super cool. My first one ever on the Guggen tube. And I think that was the goby color. I've never even used a goby tube out here, so I thought it looked good. I tied it on last night, actually. Rigged all my rods last night for today's trip, but really nice one. Super cool. I love getting out here, catching all these smallmouth bass. It's a blast. And thanks for many for having me. I do too when I'm playing with colors. Okay. I'm or wandering because you're one playing over big Steve. Okay. Uh -huh. Fish on! Fish on! It's a large, it's a large mouth. mouth, I think. Yeah. The heck in that bed? It's the socks! Yeah. It must be yeah, the shoes, man. Yeah. Money. It's the socks. <laughs> I got my largemouth socks on. Out here catching largemouth on a smallmouth fishery. Oh, there's lots yeah. of largemouth yeah. fishery. Yeah, there is. That's badass. Yeah, that is cool. Uh, on that bed, too. That's weird. Very weird. Yeah. 62 degrees. Fish on. Top water too. Bone. Large mouth. Yeah, I was gonna tell you, you yeah. large mouth. Oh, that was a tank too. Big large mouth on the Guggen top water. The orange mouth. Orange mouth. Yeah. Uh, that's what I have. Yeah, I have a couple with red mouths, and it seems like they don't really ever get bit. For some Sometimes reason. they do. I always do pass on this one. Oh. Yeah, it's super good. I love that one. I like this pretty Yeah, me too. <laughs> We're not quite ready to hit top water. They want to. We want them to. Yeah. I just seen my lure. Do you like? Right. Oh. Fish on. Fish on. I got that one. Like Dang, that. another good, pretty good one. Yeah. Go. yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, little guy. Still fun to catch though. Just throwing that Guggen Hound. Just walking it around all these tall reeds. Getting some pretty good largemouth action. I just had a decent one on up there, but just throwing that Guggen hound. Pretty cool. Catching smallmouth and largemouth. Can't beat it. But there's, there's the lure that I'm throwing right now. I always love using this for largemouth, especially up in northern Michigan. I catch all kinds of fish on this, so if you want to get this, um, go to guggensquad.com, use code EXTREME, helps me out and everything, so I'd really appreciate it, but I'm going to keep fishing, hopefully get on a couple more today. Fish 
Fish on. Yeah, dang. Fish on. That's or something. Yeah, holy crap. That's what we catch in here on bass baits. Yeah. Another species in the boat. That is a freaking monster. Hey, Check that sunfish out. We come and catch them. Oh, purpose. really? Yeah. Right here. That's crazy. This whole point is loaded. We've caught smallmouth, largemouth, and just caught this huge sunfish. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish, guys. That's super yeah, cool. That's a red ear. Yeah. Uh, what is it called? A red ear sunfish. A red ear. See how it's got that red uh, yeah. on the bluegill spot? Yeah. That's super cool, dang. Yeah, they're so pretty. Yeah, they are. I love these fish. The weeks, their bellies are yeah. all yellow. Yeah. He's even got like blue and green on him. That's cool right there on the Guggen Bates drag and drop. I'm telling you guys, it catches everything from large mouth, small mouth. I've caught walleye on this pike. Guggen dupe tube. Oh, that looks like a, a large mouth. Holy crap. You and your socks. Dang. That's a There's three a, and a half pound large head all yeah. day. You want some that? Yeah, maybe. That's a good large mouth. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, he's got some nick in this lip. Nice. Holy yeah. crap. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dang, that's crazy. Holy crap. <laughs> it's the socks, yeah, folks. Yeah, it's the He's socks. He's got his largemouth yeah. socks on. Yeah. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Smallmouth should be out here, not largemouth. That's wild. Dang. Check that largemouth out. That's a tank. Right there on the Guggen Dube Tube. They're destroying that Dube Tube. Check that out. That is freaking super cool. Guggen Dube Tube in the throat that is sweet all right gonna ca keep casting maybe get a big big small mouth what do you guys say look look up big small mouth I wasn't even moving or anything. I just felt my line start taking off. Fish on! Fish on! Little guy, but it's a fish. Oh! There he goes. Oh, it's just a random cast, dude. I wasn't even. Got him? Yep. Anybody both look four and a half pounder? Yeah. Oh! Dang! <sighs> Clean as a whistle. First fish to catch, or first one to catch this fish this year. I'll be back to catch him again. He might go four. I don't I'll know. Get a picture of that one. Strike King know. Coffee too. What's your guess, big dog? Three nine. Four one six. I was gonna say four one. <laughs> Sweet. 
Beautiful meal.